In the heart of the city, an old and decrepit movie theater stood, its dilapidated walls oozing with an unsettling presence. Inside, the air was heavy with the scent of mildew and decay, the flickering lights casting eerie shadows across the worn-out seats. Among the audience was Mark, a stoner known for his love of horror movies and his penchant for finding humor in the darkest of situations. With a joint between his trembling fingers, he took a final hit, the pungent smoke swirling around him like a sinister haze. As the lights dimmed and the movie began, Mark's senses heightened, the cannabis intensifying every sound and every flicker of movement on the screen. The film unfolded before him a grotesque dance of violence and terror that seemed to seep into his very soul. But as the movie reached its climax, a sudden and inexplicable shift occurred. The screen stretched and warped, its boundaries stretching out towards Mark, engulfing him in a vortex of darkness. Panic surged through his veins as he realized he was being pulled into the very depths of the film. No, this can't be happening, Mark exclaimed, his voice a trembling mix of fear and disbelief. As Mark's senses were engulfed by the dark abyss, he found himself thrust into the heart of the slasher movie. The theater's walls faded away, replaced by a desolate forest bathed in the ethereal glow of a full moon. Trees twisted and contorted like skeletal figures, their branches reaching out like gnarled hands. First scene unfolded with merciless brutality. Mark stood in the midst of a dilapidated cabin, its walls smeared with the blood of past victims. Tension hung in the air as the sound of heavy breathing filled his ears, growing louder and more menacing with each passing second. Shadows danced malevolently on the walls, obscuring the presence of the impending threat. As he cautiously moved through the cabin's creaking hallways, a flickering light caught his attention. With each step, the light grew brighter, illuminating a room filled with eerie porcelain dolls. Their glassy eyes seemed to follow Mark's every move, their frozen expressions conveying a twisted blend of innocence and malevolence. I always thought dolls were creepy, but this is on a whole new level, Mark muttered, his voice tinged with nervous laughter. The scene shifted abruptly, transporting Mark to a desolate playground enveloped in an eerie mist. Rusty swings swayed back and forth, their creaking echoing through the silence. The sound of childish laughter rang out, distorted and haunting. A figure emerged from the mist, a small girl with pale skin and jet black hair. Her eyes were hollow, devoid of any warmth or humanity. She moved with an unnatural grace, her footsteps barely making a sound against the damp ground. Mark's heart raced as the girl approached, her presence exuding an undeniable sense of danger. With each step, her body contorted in impossible ways, as if she were possessed by some unholy force. Okay, that's enough creepy contortionist for one night, Mark quipped, his voice trembling with a mixture of fear and dark humor. The final scene materialized in a dimly lit basement adorned with rusted tools and decaying furniture. The stench of decay filled the air, intensifying Mark's unease. Chains rattled against the cold stone walls, their metallic echoes reverberating through the chamber. A hulking figure emerged from the shadows, his presence looming with an aura of raw brutality. Clad in tattered clothing, his face obscured by a mask adorned with grotesque symbols, he wielded a weapon stained with the blood of countless victims. Mark's heart pounded in his chest as he faced the embodiment of pure terror. He could almost feel the weight of the killer's gaze upon him, the sensation of impending doom suffocating his senses. I've seen enough horror movies to know how this goes. But being on the receiving end is a whole different story, Mark muttered, his voice a mix of dread and humor. But as the confrontation reached its climax, the illusion shattered, revealing the theater once more. Mark stood alone, his heart racing and his mind reeling from the nightmarish journey he had experienced. The twist ending, his own slumber-induced trip, left him questioning the boundaries of reality and the true nature of his own fears. As he stumbled out of the theater, the horrors he had witnessed still etched deep within his psyche, 
Mark couldn't help but carry a lingering sense of dread. The vivid scenes of the slasher movie had merged with his stoned consciousness, leaving him forever marked by the terrors that lay dormant within his mind. 